One of the largest threats for the tomato sector is without any doubt the Pepino mosaic virus. Once present in the greenhouse, the virus is able to spread enormously fast. It is the most contagious virus that tomato plants can ever encounter. Contamination is practically always done via the plant sap, which releases upon damaging the leaves. As soon as the virus takes its grip on the greenhouse, the complete harvest is doomed, resulting in tomatoes that cannot enter the market. The Pepino mosaic virus is very contagious. It has an incubation time of one to three weeks. And if one plant is infected, all the plants will be infected eventually. This virus constantly changes its composition and is hard to fight. Hygiene measures only are not enough to combat the virus. And as plant viruses cannot be treated chemically, another strategy had to be developed. The Pepino mosaic virus can be divided into four strains, namely the European, Peruvian, the Chile 2 and US 1. Each strain has mild and aggressive variants. At the moment the aggressive Pepino virus enters the plant cell, it starts to multiply itself, making the cell sicker and sicker by the moment. When the cell is weakened enough, the virus will spread to other cells, continuing its path of destruction. Meanwhile, the plant senses that it's under attack, and the immune system starts to kick in to target the virus. But due to the fast multiplication of this aggressive variant, the immune system has no chance. This is where its protection is lost, and the virus starts to eat away the surface. From there on, it's only a matter of time before it spreads to the stem and follows its way to the roots. Valto has been researching this virus from early 2005. At that time, the idea arose to infect the plant with two mild variants of the virus in an early stage of the plant, triggering it to activate its immune system. And because the mild variants were easy to eliminate, the plant was prepared in case for an aggressive variant. Once a plant is infected with a virus, then the virus will trigger a defense mechanism in the plant and this will degrade the virus, but also viruses that are very similar to this virus. As soon as Valto completed its search for these mild variants, the trials were started up and they appeared very successful. This was the moment V10 was born and growers all over the globe were eager to get a hold on V10. Before our product, there was no solution for the Pepino mosaic virus. V10 appeared to have some positive side effects, as became clear in various trials. It is a generative action, and under the right circumstances, plants treated with V10 are likely to produce more fruit, often earlier in the process. In the past 10 years, more than 10,000 hectares are treated with V10, and dozens of trials have been done completed with a full European registration dossier and placing V10 in the global spotlight on how its unique method works. Valto continues to cooperate with the Horty business, science growers and laboratory together with a team of experts in its search for innovative and smart solutions.